You started this game with a big to big connection. Just how I know you like it, right? Feed your local big man. You know that. Feed your local big man. We always take care of each other. I'm here with, with a couple of my favorite guys, big guys, Evan Mope, Jared Allen. Just wanted to chat with you guys a little bit and learn a little bit more about you, your backgrounds. So one of the things I was thinking about is we see the game today, and us old guys, we're always talking about the game, how it's changed, how it used to be played back in the, the dinosaur days when I played. So Jared, for you growing up, you know, when you were watching the NBA games, so like for me, I would watch Kareem and Moses and those guys, and I actually ended up playing against them at the end of their careers. For you, who were you watching when you were a kid? Being from Texas, I watched a lot of Tim Duncan, oh, yeah. a lot of Dirk, and Kevin Garnett. Those were my three favorite players growing up. I got you. Evan, what about you? I watched a lot of Tim Duncan, um, Anthony Davis, oh, yeah. um, guys like that. Do you realize how much the game has evolved for the big guys? Just a decade ago, it was all played. All we could do was post up and play in the block area. Are you guys aware of how much the game is a ball? Yeah, big guys are now bringing the ball up. Mm -hmm. um, basically, you run a point guard, playing like almost all five positions, shooting threes, uh, posting up as well. So definitely evolved over the uh, past 10 years. So when you play an AAU ball, coming through that, did they try to get you to play inside all the time, or did they allow you to shoot the ball and run up and down the court and be more involved with the game? At first, they like kind of try to push you in a box, like growing up, because um, that's how the bigs were all back in the day. Yeah. And um, I feel like as gradually, uh, like you get to come out and and play um, on the outside perimeter, develop your skills and stuff like that. And also, I got to play on like um, my dad's team and stuff like that. He ran it, so I got the opportunity to own my skills on the outside and stuff like that as well. Growing up. Mobley hammers it home. I mean, honestly, I feel like it just goes back and forth. Um, depends on the game. Sometimes I'm like in the dunker. He throws a lot of lobs to me. And Here's basketball. Oh, and Mobley up there. Big to big. Sometimes it's the other way around. It depends on the game plan and where we are in the game. It is pretty even. One game you might have four assists to me. Next one I might have four assists to you. It, yeah. it really depends on the game. Yeah, yeah. that's outstanding. Allen the trailer looking for Mobley. Mobley hammers it home. Wade goes to Mobley inside to Allen. And then we also talk about it throughout the game. Um, next time down the floor, if we see some, we just let them know. And then literally the next play, it might happen exactly the same. And, and then <laughs> they, we make the pass. So. And the Blazers, you saw there, hit their first five shots. And this time, it's Allen to Mobley on the alley. -oop. So when I watch you guys play, it does my heart good because I love the fact that both of you are very capable on the inside and the out, but you start, you anchor that middle. But the other thing that I really noticed that I think is unique and makes us really a great team defensively is you guys have this energy together. Uh, tell me about how that's developed because you don't know each other that long, no. but how, how does that develop? How did you, you guys are just fantastic communicators together. It just started when uh, he got here. It mm -hmm. just kind of, we honestly don't really talk about it a lot. It just happens, you know. Really? Once or twice a game, we'll say one thing to each other, make sure that you look for me on the next pass, and then him or I will hit each other on the next pass, and we'll just grow from there. It's kind of just organic. So this time, it's Alan Mobley on the alley. -oop. When you guys think about this this team, and you know, we're like I say, we're tremendous defensively. Why is there such a pridefulness on that defensive end? I mean, you guys absolutely get after. Where does that come from? Where does that 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 grind and grit come from? Folks last year, go barefoot to the block by Jared Allen. I think the coaches do a good job of uh, putting an emphasis on it um, in our practices and just our team scheme. Um, I feel like we really built on our defense and uh, we have the players and uh, stuff like that to really get it done. So we've been doing a great job this whole season so far and I mean, we just got to continue doing that. How much better can this team get and what has to happen for this team to evolve into a team that's potentially going to win a world championship one day. What do you think, Jared? What's I, I say we're we're on the right track. You know, uh, we have what the number one defense right now. Our offense is coming together, but we still have a lot of small things that we can improve on. Just a lot of the 
details that a young team like us are going to make mistakes on. So right. it's really just the small things. Once we get them together, we can elevate our games to wherever we want to take it. And a little bit of a uh, lack of experience going into this because we're all pretty young. And um, I feel like as we just keep going and uh, learn as fast as possible, as quick as possible, um, that's just going to benefit us in the long run and um, hopefully take us pretty far. Underhands one up top for Evan Mobley. Showtime here in San Francisco. Yes, indeedy, over the top at the live pack. Yes. Mobley upstairs, Rubio fake the... I have my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> you, you go first. Uh, Jenny throws some good lines. Does he? Yeah. 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 Oh, there's for Allen. Allen somehow. <laughs> Meanwhile, finds Jenny Osmond upstairs for Allen as the Cavs make it look easy. And ball goes to Osmond upstairs for Allen. Look out. I know DG's going to be mad at me, <laughs> but <laughs> it's always a different special lot when Jenny throws it to me. I will yeah. probably say uh, Darius Garland. That's smart. That's yeah. smart. <laughs> but, but yeah, he, he does good lobs and he like gets it in the air so you have time to time it and everything is like super easy. So yeah, I'll go ahead. He's waiting for pink pumps upstairs and finds Mobley. And that's when Garland's at his best. Sorry, Darius. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Six six for so who do you guys look forward to matching up against individually? Like for me, back in my day, man, when I got to play against Hakeem Olajuwon, I was really fired up because he was going to kick my butt a lot of night, but, but it was going to be on. So, Jared, who do, who do you look forward to playing against? I love Garden Jokic. Oh, uh, yeah, that's it's, great. It's a tough matchup all together. Yeah. Great post-up, great passer, great just all around basketball player, so I really have to be on my toes the whole night. Yeah, how about you, Evan? Guys like Jokic, um, Embiid, um, Giannis, all those guys, that, I mean, all great bigs, uh, very dominant in the league, so it's always a, a fun night to go out there and get to guard them and, and go at them. You guys do know that they're talking about you as well. Yeah. Those guys are talking about you as well, and they're like, these guys are tough, so uh, kudos to you guys. So. Today's game, one other thing, you know, there's so much social media, everybody's got an opinion, the newspapers got an opinion. You guys able to filter some of that stuff out, and just keep it in-house, or is it different today where you are able to kind of embrace it and deal with it? How do you deal with the social media part of it? I feel like me and him do a good job as far as like, we're kind of out the way, um, laid back people, uh, we're not too involved in all that, so um, that's, that's what I do, I just stay out the way. Um, let them say whatever, and I just uh, focus on my game and what I can can control. You just take care of business. Yep. All right, Evan. Thank you so much for yep. your time, man. Jared, no thank you so much. You guys keep doing the work. <laughs> yes, Appreciate sir. it. All right.